There was a moderate-sized earthquake under the southern coast of Bali on the 22nd of March. It was a very interesting earthquake because Bali doesn't have earthquakes very often, but there is a big subducting slab, a big slab of ocean crust going down beneath Bali, and occasionally it produces earthquakes. In fact, we know exactly where it is because there are earthquakes like the one yesterday. We know that the one yesterday occurred at about 106 kilometers down beneath southern Bali. And that's about how far beneath Bali the, the slab of oceanic crust coming off of, uh, of the, uh, the um, Australian plate is beneath the resort communities of, of southern Bali. That, uh, that earthquake tells us what many earthquakes like it tell us, that in fact this slab that's slowly descending down back into the, deep, the bowels of the earth is breaking apart. So it stretches and then pop, it bang, it, or, or it compresses and then bang, it pops in an earthquake. That's simply of academic interest. What's of more practical interest is that in the shallower parts of where that slab of crust is going down, the, it, it, it gets hung up against the overlying oceanic crust and the crust that Bali is sitting on. And so over the years, that develops strain, which is eventually then released in a great earthquake. We've never had a great earthquake offshore Bali like we've had in northern Sumatra in 2005 or all the way up to Myanmar in 2004, magnitude 8.5, magnitude 9. We think that a magnitude 8.5 or 9 or a series of them are possible from the megathrust offshore Java all the way past Bali and on toward Flores. So this little earthquake on the 22nd is a reminder that in fact we have this dangerous dragon lying beneath an offshore Bali that eventually is likely to generate an earthquake and success, a consequent tsunami affecting the south coast of Java and the southern and uh, other coasts of Bali.